Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to do our early work for the NFL Showdown slate, which is this evening. Now, we are going to go live a little bit later, but you get to see firsthand like the different adjustments we make and our different first looks at the slate. It's, it's a very interesting slate because there's a lot of value at the receiver position. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to make some rules that we're going to save um, uh, that we don't have to, so we don't have to do them again when we're in, on time crunch. And we're going to do some early preliminary, you know, builds and just take a look and see what's going on here early in the in the day. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upload first of all the uh, the projections sheets. Um, and again, these are all going to be, you know, they're going to be changed, but give me something to look at. All right. So the, the deal is, is that, well, let's actually, let's start a new build. So let's, let's do that. This way we can see all the players. Okay, so let's pull up the flex position and and see what's going on here. The the the, the main sources of value you're going to see are guys like Brandon Powell. You know he's he's at twenty eight hundred with a pretty big workload. You'll see, you know, either I don't know Ray Ray McLeod might be decent value. Even Ronnie Bell might be okay value. You're seeing the kill Harry showing up at one point. So we have the first thing we really have to do is figure out who we're going to. Who we're going to just blast out of our player pool? Um, like this is what my sheets look like, and and this mine usually screen for. I mean, you have to have at least like a one point projection that everybody is agreeing is going to get one point at least. Um, and so I am getting some Josh Oliver in here, just for example. And then I'm looking at the fringe guys: Ronnie Bell, Use Check, and everybody above that. We're definitely going to be using at least. But let, let's X out these other guys. Like, ugh, should we X out Nikhil Harry? I, I don't even want to X them out, honestly, to tell you the truth. I am going to X out Charlie Warner. Third string running back, I guess, Ty Chandler. Probably third string tight end, Johnny Munt. Probably third string tight end, Ross Dwelly. You know, these guys that are projecting for less than a point. We'll get rid of them. Also, we want to get rid of them in the captain, obviously, as well. It doesn't do that for you. I don't know what to do with guys like C.J. Hammer and Kill Harry. Every once in a while, they'll – well, Kill Harry, at least I know, can play. I don't know if he's actually going to, but he's on the roster, and he has NFL experience. So we're going to leave him in the player pool. C.J. Hammer, it just seems like every, every time I watch him play, he has the ball somehow, sometime. So for no other reason, I'm going to keep him in the player pool as far as that goes. But with respect to rules, for example, so the, the one that I want to focus on is this Ray Ray McLeod and Ronnie Bell thing. So, so who is going to be that third receiver now? Um, more to the point, I guess, the second, but with, with, with Debo Samuel out. Now, when, when Brandon Ayuk was out, you saw Ronnie Bell come in and get, you know, I think he got a touchdown. He did really, really well. But when Samuel was out, it was Ray Ray McLeod. And uh, the question is, was that just variance that one week they gave it to Ray Ray McLeod and the other one they gave it to Ronnie Bell? Or do they have this, I don't know, this, this starter backup system already in place where whenever Ayuk is out, it would be Ronnie Bell or whenever – Samuel was at would be Ray Ray McLeod. It's an interesting question, right? But what I think I am willing to do is I'm willing to agree to not play both of them in the same line. Okay. So, so that's the first thing I want to do is I want to build this rule. Um, so let's do that right now. Uh, where am I? Lineup, uh, lineup settings, lineup rules. We'll, we'll build these now so that we don't, I don't want to say forget, we don't want to waste time doing them later. So we're going to just, so remember, we got to use the captain also. So it's going to be, 
with Ray Ray McLeod, Ronnie Bell, and then you have to do Fletch also. Ray Ray McLeod, Ronnie Bell. We want max one. No more than one, one primary pair. We'll call this um, uh, 49er wide receiver threes. Okay, the, the next one thing I want to talk about are the running backs from San Francisco. And obviously, you know, C.J. McCaffrey rates to get all the work. But you know what? This is showdown, so you have to deal with the backup running backs. And the two backup running backs in San Francisco are Elijah Mitchell and Jordan Mason. Now, based on what we've heard, Mitchell is going to be that second that, that backup running back, even though Jordan Mason did a really nice job when Mitchell was out or otherwise injured. Um, but we're keeping Mason in the player pool just because he can be so much, I imagine, so much lower owned than Mitchell. But we can make a rule, I think, that we don't want to play both of them. So let's do that as well. So let's uh, add a new rule, group, and we'll do the same thing. Um, so no Jordan Mason. Elijah Mitchell. And then again, we'll go captain. Elijah Mitchell. Mitchell Jordan Mitchell. And we're going to do max, no more than one primary player. We'll call this 49er. Uh, RB2. Make sure I did that right. Yeah, no more than. Okay. Um, what else do I want to do on the San Francisco side? I don't think anything else is particularly relevant. I don't want to say relevant. I don't think there's anything else I have to do here. I don't, you know, IU, McCaffrey, Kittle. I mean, these are obviously the best plays. Picker, defense, not really missing too much. And Jen, I'm sorry, Jennings would be the, the, the third receiver. But then again, yeah, so I'm not going to really do much. And, and I, I don't mind playing two of Jennings. You know, that's probably not the, the worst, not the best idea either. To play max one Jennings. It's the way these targets are distributed. I mean, is it really possible that Jennings and McLeod get something good here with all the all the targets going to like McCaffrey and 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 um and Ayuk and um and Kittle. I don't think so. So let's let's add Jennings into this mix. And this is a little asking for trouble probably, but let's let's um let's add this. Do you add it right from here? Um, we edit, are we editing this right now? Let's see. Yeah, Jennings here and then Jennings captain. This might be this might be asking for trouble, but we're gonna do it anyway. No more than one of these. Hmm. I'm afraid it's gonna get me like a hundred percent of one of them. So what we're going to do is we're also going to probably limit the exposure of these guys. So let's let's we'll do that in a minute. Let's save this rule though. So Niners wide receiver three. We'll just what we know what this means. The right running backs are fine, and there's no other like use check. I don't I don't you know I don't mind playing use check with anybody you know because um, he's if he gets there it's going to be one one play or something like that and get a touchdown. All right, let's take a look at Minnesota. Let's just actually filter for Minnesota so we can see what we're looking at here. So there's no Justin Jefferson, right? So, so you have a bunch of receivers. You have Hawkinson, Addison, Osborne. Those are the guys that are on the field, you know, a decent amount. And Powell is on the field quite a bit as well. Now, now he's going to be extremely popular. So 
you know, we got to be really careful not to get too much in. But when we you do our geo mean filtering and maybe even our contest sim filtering or our cell, see, the thing is you can't, you can't get, you can't fade him when you do salary restraint because he's going to show up in more of the salary, salary restraint builds. But you can do like geo mean filtering and other ownership based things. If you don't want to play too much of him, but he is going to be really popular. I have a twenty-eight percent right now in, in the flex. Um, and then other just real cheapo. So, so Josh Oliver, Nikhil Harry. So I guess the same thing. I guess I don't want to play two of those guys, right? But between Powell, Hawkinson, Addison, and Osborne, I mean, they're going to get most of it, right? But I don't think I want to set a rule here because if Oliver gets one, I don't want to be at the expense of any of these other guys, you know? Because I don't think there's going to be a huge target share uh, uh, concentration like there's going to be in San Francisco. So I don't think I'm going to do too much with this. The only thing I might do is if I bump up like Nikhil Harry can't bump him up to any of these guys they're just way too much more likely to get there um is this the only backup running back they have oh no acres sorry about that so I, I okay so I will play acres and ham max one that makes sense so let's do that and you think well what's the big deal why do you bother it just is, it's, it's really important to do stuff like this. Add new rules um, group, and we're going to play CJ Ham. Actually, we use CJ Ham, Cam Akers in both positions. Max one, and we'll call this uh, our uh, Minnesota RB two. Now my question is is on the Minnesota side, do I want to play Max 1, Madison Akers? You know, does Minnesota really have that game script where you can get two running touchdowns from two different guys? I don't think so. I think I'm going to have to go Max 1 of Akers and, 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 Mad and Madison as well. So let's do that. So we'll build a new group. Group, and then we'll say max one of Acres, Madison. Now you might remember, again, yeah, like you might ask, why would I not do the same thing with San Francisco with uh, with Mitchell and and McCaffrey or whatever? Um, because I think that there are variations where 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 McCaffrey gets his, and then he like sits or whatever it is in the blowout. And then you could put then these other those other guys get in there. I don't think that same game script really exists on the Minnesota side. So let's do um, a max one. I want to make sure I did. I do the um, the same thing with San Francisco. Did I do the Mitchell Mason thing? I hope I did. Otherwise, I have to go back and check. I am going to go back and check. So we're going to call this one um, Minnesota RB one RB one, and we're going to do that. Uh, Max, no more than one. Let me see what this looks like. RB two, yep, Mitchell and Mason. I did, I did max, uh, max. Okay, I think that's it for the rules. Except, okay, so I, I guess, I guess, I guess I could play both Josh Oliver and Hawkinson in the same lineup if I had to. I don't think that's that big a deal. And I think if Nikhil Harry gets there, I don't really care who else. One thing I will I will bump him up to two. Two points. A little more likely than CJ Ham. I mean, much more likely than CJ. I kind of want to bump him up more, but let's let's not for now. And I think the rest were kind of good here. We're, we're exiting out Ty Chandler. We're exiting out. We, we, did, we did all this. So I think we're good with our rules and we named them so that we can't, you know, we don't have to worry about them later. 
So I think we're good to go. So let's build some lineups and then we're going to do this a couple of different ways. So let's first just build a regular, you know, we'll build 50 line, uh, hundred lineups. We'll build the full Monty of 5,000 lineups. And then I think we're, I'm, I might have to pause to, before you get there, uh, before, it, before, before it's done, I might have to pause you guys, but, but let me think about this for a second. Should I do a max salary to start all with, to start off with? Well, the way we're going to get unique is either using a salary restraint or a, a geo mean restraint or both. Let, let's just start with just um, no salary restraint. We'll make it well 42,000 minimum, 50,000 maximum, full 50, just to see what we get. And we will just build. Um, and let me see how long I think this is going to take. Otherwise, I'll pause you guys for a minute until this gets done. Um, looks like it's moving a little bit. The showdown has been really slow. So, you know, what? I'm going to pause this till it's done. Then I'll, then I'll come back here. All right. That did take a couple of minutes. So this is just your straight lineup builds with nothing else done. No ownership issues, no contest sims or whatever. I, I do think it's cool to kind of see what I would get. And just using the Sabre score stuff, the highest owned captain would actually be um, um, looks like it looks like Brandon Powell, although doesn't seem to be adding. Very interesting. How could these lineups work if there's only where are all the where are all the captains? Since there are twelve captains, where are they? Are they down here somehow. I mean, I know they're up here. All the Iukes, I see them, but they're not listed here for some reason. That's interesting. Anyway. Um, and in the flex, we have these are just kind of the normal guys. You know, we're, we're getting a little bit of Akil Harry and CJ Ham and, and Oliver, a lot of Oliver actually, 20% Oliver. But I'm just curious what these lineups look like compared with respect to um With respect to uh, the geo mean that I'd be after, so let's 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 figure out what that is first of all. Let's go into my. I mean, I kind of have an idea nowadays, but we'll we'll just do this again. Oh, it's actually over here. It'd be 117,000 people or something. Is that what we said in in the lottery? So if you only want one dupe, it's 14.2. Let's not get greedy. Let's make it five dupes. So we need a geo mean of 18.6 or lower. So let's just see what these look like before I do anything else. We're going to add a filter, show lineups with, and I have this set already, less than, what did I say? 18.9, so we'll make it 19. Let's just see what what if I even if it even works. Uh yeah, actually, I, I could do that with the 5,000 lineups that I created. And, and what that gets me is uh Jordan Mason, Kyle Yuschek. Look at some of these. It gets me a lot of CJ Ham, 35% of him, and then 15% Josh Oliver like 30% to kill Harry. So if we do this, that not to mention like 13% to kill Harry and the captain. So these are nasty, you know, and listen, nobody, um, you know, nobody said winning 500,000 is easy. You know? <laughs> so let's see what the next step is. Let, let's, let's run the contest. Set. 
And we, as I, and we already put the contest simulation data in for the, the Millie Maker and the, well, whatever, the lottery and the, um, and the two-point conversion. And same thing, we're gonna look and see what it looks like normally. Then we're gonna do a geo mean uniqueness filter. See what we get. All right, so by MME sorting by risk adjusted ROI. Again, once again, it's not really showing the captains. It's something to do with the tables or something. It's not displaying them. But Brandon Powell, 11%. This is without caring about any about geo mean or anything. These are like kind of the normal players. Okay, seventeen percent Oliver. That's not that's that's a, that's offbeat. That's for sure. Forty percent Powell. But I imagine that these would all be yeah. Geo tests are very geo mean are very you know a little bit too big. Um. So let's see if we add again. You know what we say nineteen. Geo test less than nineteen. Let's see what these would look like. Yeah, you know, so we can do it, but but what ends up happening once again is that 30% CJ Ham, 24% Nikhil Harry. Josh Oliver is fine. These other two, I don't I don't know if I feel comfortable with that big percentage of them, but you know, on the other hand, you don't want to feel hundred percent comfortable with that. Now you're getting nine percent Nikhil Harry captain, five percent CJ Ham captain. So no, none of this is. None of this is particularly uh, particularly great. So what I want to do is I want to get a little greedy. Like what would happen if I X'd out CJ Ham and Nikhil Harry? Would that would I be able to even do this? I mean, I know what would probably end up happening is I would just end up getting all this Kyle use check, right? The, the next guy that would feel really uncomfortable. But we're gonna we're, let's see. But before I forget, let's let's save these to my contests. Just so I have them. And now let's let's start again. Well, well, this is never gonna work. But like if, I'm telling you, this, if I just X'd out right from here, let's 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 X out CJ Ham. And Nikhil Harry from the captain and see if that helps. I mean, let's just see if if if, if I can do that. Okay, I can get away with that. I'm now I'm getting Oliver in the captain, but it's only one lineup. Let's just get rid of that one too. And then I bet you all the use check over here right now. So now I'm still getting CJ Ham in the flex. The filter is still on. The filter is still working. But let's see if I can, how much, how, I'll put it another way. How little Ham and, and Harry do I have to get and still be able to to build this right. Um, let's, I can't, there's no way I'm gonna X them out. I'll be able to X them out. Let's just, can I do 10%? There's no way, right? Never gonna let me, let me do it. I don't think, no. Yeah, unable to meet my exposures. Um, well, it's close. It's to 11. But then Nikhil Harry gets up to 15, gets up to 35. Can I, can I reduce him to 20, maybe? Probably not. Without it getting really annoying for this algorithm. Actually, that's not bad. So we have like 20% Nikhil Harry, 20% Oliver, 20% Ham. You see what happens here, right? You have three percent Brandon Powell. Let's go. That, that that's that's you know that's that's nasty. But let's just see. I mean, where is where is the captain? Why can't I see him? So this would be the big fade. Would be to fade basically Brandon Powell, and then hope that like you get some Nikhil Harry, 
CJ Ham, that type of thing. But you know, this is what you got to do if you want to, you know, ship the five hundred thousand solo, right? For example. So we could save these as well. I mean, it's the same type. All right, next thing I want to do is we'll do a um, salary restraining uh, build. So we will now set a max salary to say 48,000. So we'll go 42,000, let's start 41,000 to 48,000. And then we'll build again. And then we'll see, again, what, what do we need to do to get unique enough? If we start with the pool with the 48,000 and below, can we get a low geo mean, you know, built without getting 40%, you know, CJ Ham or Akil Harry? So I'll put you guys on pause, then we'll see what we have here. Okay, so when I just do a two thousand um, dollar salary restraint, what ends up happening? Once again, I get all this Brandon Powell. That's fine, but it's but there's more people that it's just not showing for some reason. But Brandon Powell there, probably probably all kinds of Brandon Powell here. Yeah, it's much bigger. But I I don't know if like if I if I if I want to have you know not that many dupes if this is gonna be good enough. Is just having Josh Oliver, for example, good enough? I don't, I don't think so. So we are gonna to have to do some funny business here. Now, the other thing is I wonder if the rules are still being applied, right? Let me just make sure. Uh, yeah, they were. So let's just see. Let's 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 see what happens if we start with this with this pool. If we can then get a good enough uh, geo mean average to make this work. So let's see. Uh, geo test less than again nineteen just for fun. And let's just see what we get. Um, so now we're getting. Okay, Nikhil Harry and Ronnie Bell. See that 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 I could sort of live with for some reason. Mason and Ronnie Bell. So you're getting really two wild guys in every lineup. But I mean, I made worse plays. Uh, Josh Oliver, thirty percent Josh Oliver, but you know. I've definitely made worse plays. It's just the backup tight end. It's not the end of the world, right? How's he going to get in there, though, with all those other guys? I don't know. But for 500000 may maybe it's worth trying to find out. One Sam Akers, Cam Akers captain. Yeah, gotta, gotta have one. So I wonder if I if I just reduce my exposure here, if I can do that. This this looks pretty cool though, this build. So what this does again is it, you know, either Josh Oliver or Nikhil Harry have to get there. But even I mean, you need two actually. Like this one needs CJ Ham and Josh Oliver. Josh Oliver and CJ Ham. Um Use check and the kill hair. This is this is pretty nasty, but we get all these lineups with geo tests under 19, which is good. When you greedy, or let's let's run the contest sims also. Not that this really should matter, but So let's go risk adjusted ROI. We'll do this. And then 
see what this looks like. So this has two cheapos from San Francisco. Ellen Juszczyk, Oliver and Harry. Oh, this one only has one uber cheapo. So some of these are okay. Yeah, I think this isn't bad. And this gives you 30% Josh Oliver, but okay, whatever it is. And I think the most important thing is it gets us very, you know, it gets a very little Brandon Powell, I imagine. Let's see. Powell, like 0% up there. And then in the flex, like two lineups with him. All right, I like this. So we'll start with this one. And this is what you do. You just keep playing around with this type of thing. All right now, let's do a, um, let's also do one with the, uh, for the two point conversion. But let's, uh, right now we have a $2,000 max salary, which I really don't want to do. But let's, let's see what that would look like. Untest some settings, two point conversion. We'll run the contest sim again against the two point conversion and see what that see what it looks like, even leaving two thousand on the table, which you don't really need to do in the two point conversion. But I have a feeling it's not going to matter because I do believe that that Brandon Powell is going to be a good play at that price. And so I think if you ran it ran it pure without doing the 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 uh the salary restraint i think you would get to i don't know, say the same thing but let's see what it looks like so two point conversion no it's getting oh that's filtering i don't need to filter here uh wow this one gets you both McLeod and Powell. So I have to believe that for, the, for an extra 2000, you probably improve this, but I don't know. This looks pretty, this looks pretty good actually, but let's, let, let's build it again. Sorry about this. I want to build it again without the, without the salary constraint. Build settings. Yeah. So we'll rebuild the lineups. With the sal with, with without the salary constraints, and then we will rerun this contest sims just for the two point conversion. So we're going to pause again while this runs. All right, so we did it with just totally pure, um, no salary constraints, no filters, just no nothing again. And now we're going to rerun this the contest sim just for the. Well, we're going to do them for both, but we're going to find what lineup looks good in the uh, in the big body as far as that goes. This one looks pretty good. I mean, this looks really chalky, but it's hard to deny this one. Um, anyway, uh, two point, risk adjusted ROI. Yeah, this looks reasonable. McCaffrey, Purdy, Kittle, right? This, this one fades Ayuk. You can get away with it, you're a freaking hero, right? It's pretty cool, actually. So this is one of those things. It's like fifty thousand. It's a full fifty k, but it fades IU. And that's probably all you need. Or if you like IU, you can play this one. She puts Cap Powell in the captain. Full Minnesota stack with with the most likely run backs from San, from uh, this. This is pretty good too because I don't think this is going to be really high owned. This has no McCaffrey. The problem is that if these Minnesota guys do really well, I think I think McCaffrey's going to be in the game like the whole time. So I don't know if that one's so great. Um, this one looks really logical though. Kittle, Kittle captain, McCaffrey. This one fades Ayuk. Well, it's really a question. That one fades Ayuk, and this one fades McCaffrey. This one has more Minnesota guys in it. No Hawkinson. 
So this one favors McCaffrey and Hawkinson. This one favors Hawkinson as well. This one uses Madison as opposed to this one. Is, this one's really all passing, but with no Ayuk. I mean, with no, uh, it's got no McCaffrey and no Kittle. It really is hard to say which one of these I prefer. We'll do it from a math perspective. I mean, this one's got a geo test, you know, less likely to be duped, a little more so. So we can play this one. Play the Powell Captain one. It's actually a tough call. For now, we will use the the Powell and the Captain one, only because you know we didn't. Um, We didn't use the uh, Powell almost at all in the, in the in the lottery, so we'll just do that. All right, so let's uh, download these for now. We'll upload these to our DraftKings. But the good thing is we do have those rules put in, and we can figure out whether we still want to keep those based on our thoughts later. But we we uh, identified them by name so that we could be able to know what they what they all are. Um, you know, I may as well do a fan duel while we're here. Nobody said you guys had to watch the whole thing, but if you want to see a fan duel build, let's do it. Let's do the um let's do the same thing. We'll just we'll actually we'll 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 cheat a little bit. No, no, no. And I know you're gonna have to save some salary if you want to win this thing. So let's we'll we'll start with the two thousand on the table thing. Uh, we already saved the contest sims. We will put this up and we will save our. Save our projections, etc. We have all this in. Good. So we'll do lineup rules. Build settings, build settings. Max salary fifty eight thousand. We'll build fifty lineups just for this one, and we'll do five thousand again. So you might need to access all these things and build. We're only going to build do fifty for the FanDuel, and the geo mean for FanDuel is probably even worse. Probably more people in this one, but let's see how much that is. Looks like eighty five thousand nine hundred seventy eight people. That's it. But here's only five players in a lineup. So here's the problem. So you need a geo mean of 14.2 to have five dupes or less. Good luck with that. But we'll, we'll try it. So I'll put this on pause, and then we'll look back when this is done. All right, so these are what the lineups look like with uh, leaving 2,000 on the table. Let's 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 surprise ourselves. Let's run the contest sims just for – let's just see if we can actually – find lineups that are going to be less than 5%, le less than five dupes. I'm going to guess that you can. If you start with, with this. So if I started my lineup builds with only lineups that had geo means of less than that, then certainly I could do that. But let's start with actually lineups that have a shot. Okay, so we're, we're pulling from a pool of 5,000 lineups. Let's see if we can get 50 of them with a geo mean of less than 15. Let's try it. First, sort these by ROI, and then let's just do it. So show lineups with geo mean less than 15. Let's see it. What do you think? I don't think any. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, Let's try another one. Let's try, I don't know. We want to try 20. Okay. 
All right, so you can get to get it from 20. That's good. So let's see the least amount that we can get 50 lineups from. How about that? So how about, uh, I don't know, this is fun. We'll play around with this. Let's do an 18. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but. 18, can we get, can we do that? Yeah, we can do 18, pushing our luck here, but we can do it. See, see, by the way, you see all the guys we're getting here? Good luck with that. Um, let's just see, 18. So just, just for reference sake, 18, like that would be, I mean, that's even like 15 dupes. We, we got to just do a little bit better than 18 somehow. So let's do 16. Less than, how about 16? Closing my eyes. Nope. Can't do 16. So again, for reference, 16 would be like 10 or so dupes. I mean, actually, that's not that bad. But we're not getting it. How about 17? <laughs> all right. Uh, all this is another way of saying that FanDuel showdown is awful. But let's go back to 18, I guess. We're able to do that, right? Or not even, we we'll have to do 19. Is that the story? What happened? It gave up on I'm, I'm a 19 even? Yeah, so it's uh it's rough out there. Try one more time. So 20 is the best I can do, really. And that's like 20 dupes. It's hard. But we could start with this. Save these to contests. Um, I do have... A, uh, I do have a uh, crap build already done. I mean, a like entry file, so we can upload these here. And we'll save these to the to this thing. And let's also let's let's also do it for the for the monster. Now again, we don't have to. We're not going to do a, a geomean filter for the monster. We just want to win, I guess. And this one seems to make a lot of sense. 37 geo test, though, you're probably going to be duped here, but I don't know. It's leaving 2,000 on the table. We're, we'll leave this for now and we'll work on this later. I mean, this is, this is again, every time I think of playing FanDuel, I, I play around with this. And this reminds me of just how impossible it is. to do FanDuel showdown because you just can't get unique enough and then it's like a disaster. So we'll upload these for now and we'll be done. All right, so that's like all the pre-work, honestly. Um, when we get later, we'll have updated projections, maybe some updated takes. Um, hopefully that wasn't too boring, but you know, listen, this is, this is what I do. And then I go back the rest of my day and then we revisit this later. Uh, that'll do it. Good luck.